recording. My going. first video in California. Is that correct? That's correct. Oh, give me a hug. <laughs> And do you recognize this background or this girl? She's Hi. my roommate. Hi guys. Off you go. Shoo shoo. It's my space now, right? Right? My video uploading schedule is on Tuesday and on Friday. But since I've been living in LA, I went to Vegas the first weekend. Rise and shine, Claudia. We're going to Vegas. Woo! Woo! And that was pretty wild. But once everything settled, I'm gonna go back to Tuesday and Friday, but as for right now, it's just every Tuesday. So I decided to do a question and answer because I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions and I know that there's things that I just feel like it would be best to explain on video form because not everyone follows me on Twitter or like Instagram, so it's hard to keep up that way with everyone. The first question I'm gonna answer is from Lauren Murphy, which is Lauren Murphy 122 and she says, how long will you be in LA for? Please put me in the video. So, I'm gonna be in LA for the next year my lease ends in June. I applied to colleges when I was a senior, but I told all the colleges that I have a plan to go to California and I'm doing YouTube. They all supported it so I got to defer my acceptance. Basically, I have permission from all these colleges to go off and spend the next year working and then I get to be a freshman in the upcoming fall. Demi Electra says, have you ever wanted to quit YouTube? If so, why? There have been points where I feel like I'm just so irrelevant on YouTube that there's no point in me pursuing making a following on YouTube, but just still making videos just for my own personal enjoyment, but I've never wanted to absolutely quit YouTube. I'm a hack ass on a scale of one to pizza. How much do you miss home? Ice cream sundae. April Cias or Scylla says, what's your favorite song at the moment? And I've been into some hardcore rap lately. I didn't realize until I got to LA how little everyone else listens to hardcore rap. In my personal life, I've had In My Bag by Fat Troll stuck in my head non-stop. Every time someone mentions something about a bag, I'm like, bitch, I'm in my bag, bitch, I'm in my bag. I can't get out of my head, so maybe that's my current favorite song. Whoa, it's Rach on Twitter asks, if you could switch lives with any YouTuber for a day, who would it be? Casey Neistat. Ah, I just followed this girl! Oh, man! No! Beauty Guru 01 asks, do you like life in LA? Kind of. <laughs> the lifestyle here is perfect for what I'm doing, but not something that I would really desire if I wasn't in this industry. At Drive-In Alexis asks, what has been the biggest problem of living in LA so far? Most of my audience is in either middle school or high school, so it was really easy to make videos that everyone could relate to because I was the same age as the people that were watching. The normal day-to-day -day problems that you face, the things that you're looking for help and guidance for that you would go on YouTube for, I've been having trouble figuring out what they are right now because I'm not in high school anymore and I graduated and I just hit that 18 point but most 18 year olds are spending their time in college so it's nice if you are in college that you can continue your videos doing things that relate to college kids but now that I've been in LA I feel like I've almost temporarily skipped that college experience. I went straight from high school to working. I don't live the life that most of the viewers live now. I know it's just kind of a gap year, but it doesn't feel that way just because you, you establish a lifestyle. And so my lifestyle is very adult-like, but the main audience that I'm trying to communicate with is not adult. <laughs> the things that I'm spending my money on are not things that I used to spend my money on before, like finding the perfect washcloth for your kitchen. <laughs> when I'd really do like a furniture haul from Ikea, but at the same time, it's like, that's what my life is now, and that's the th like those are the things that I'm doing, so. Do I bring my audience up with me, or do I like try to help my audience that's, that's younger than me? And figuring out what I wanna do, because I do have one year, and I can do whatever I want with this year. I can pick to go into like the health and fitness industry, or go into fashion, or I can do correspondent things. And I or what if I just want to pursue being a YouTuber or a filmmaker? It's so cool that you have all these options open and I can look at the table and be like, all right, take your pick. Like, which plate do you like the best? Having the whole platter in front of you, like the food's eventually gonna spoil if you don't choose something. So I really need to figure out what I want to do with my channel, what type of 
way I want to brand myself and that's another problem. So those are like my two problems that I've been having recently. Busy Hearts XO asks, can you do an LA room tour and what it's like living with Claudia Saluski? Um, can I? I don't know. Hey Claudia? Yeah? What are your thoughts on doing a, an LA room tour and what it's like living with me? Ooh. It's a possibility. There's your answer. Oh yeah, maybe we'll do like a roommate tag. Who knows what type of videos we'll do together. If you have any ideas of what type of videos that you want to see from me personally, I really like doing cooking videos. I'm sure you'd want to see a room tour. But if like DIY room decorations are of your interest or anything of that sort. So I'll see you guys next Tuesday for sure and then maybe next Friday. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And I want to give a big thank you to Yahoo and Style Hall and Clinton Sparks and the Delano Hotel and MGM and everyone involved because without it I wouldn't be able to go to iHeartRadio and get to show you guys vlogs.